Stop, stop, please. I know I'm supposed to do it, but it's pretty tough. Yeah. Why are you talking about this? It doesn't matter. Stop, stop, please. You're wasting you? my time. I'm going to find value in this conversation, if not in the content from the context. Like, it's nice mm -hmm. to have contact with people. I can do that, but it seems to be limited. It's like I can do a couple of nights of socializing on, on that level. It's so draining. I find it really, really, really exhausting. And the thing that bothered me the last round of me trying to do that was whenever a more interesting subject would come up, there'd be certain personalities within the group who kind of function as gatekeepers and they cut out those subjects. They won't let you talk about those subjects. Oh, yeah. It was women who wanted to make sure that the conversation took place within a certain frequency band and no further, band and no further. It's the stick to the script mentality. You're getting the lines wrong. It's like you're the punish yeah. you for getting the yeah. lines wrong, yeah. punish you for getting the yeah. lines wrong. But I think in real life, you and me both are more like receptive people. I usually like wait for people to see if they're gonna give me the time to respond. But the types of people that don't communicate like that, they just, they, they don't give that time. I feel no need to interject. Don't ask me questions that if I have to answer, you're gonna fucking hate my guts. So, so even when they ask you, you don't even want to interject. Oh, I'm like, uh, so then I start lying. No, I'm a liar. I just fucking bluffed my way through these conversations, man. They, but they probably are too. They're probably doing the same shit. They're probably doing the same shit. And they like it. If I was being honest, I would just be like, oh, uh, what are you asking me about my mortgage? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I'd spend literally zero seconds of my day thinking, do I want kids? Do I want to be married? I don't give. I don't care. You, you know what I have in my mind, though? If they go really long and they ask me, I'm like, but you don't care. So then I give them a, like a, a few cent, like a sentence or two. I'm like hyper vigilant of if they're actually wanting to hear it or not. When I was a kid, I would sit with the adults and there'd be this weird gray energy when they spoke. And it gave me a headache that there's like a frequency jammer. Yeah. I'm like, oh, God, I hate I can't I can't think it's it's awful this weird gray energy and then i find myself going into codependent mode so how do i placate people and make them feel better that's me right. massaging you to calm down in in my case that codependent tendency comes up because i feel like what i actually want to say or if i were would just make everybody really uncomfortable so then i heavily compromise the other way of like either not saying anything to disturb the situation or just to like placate and play it just so everybody's comfortable. I mean, I spent time with my family recently and you have to converse on, on me with family because they're, they're family. What are you going to do? Like, does that have the same intrinsic benefits of socialization if you're just kind of... I don't think so. I, I, I have a suspicion that it's one of the things that made me sick. It uh, started in my throat. There was things I wanted to say that I didn't say because it would have been unkind. I actually don't think that it had a good socializing effect. I actually think it made me sick in the end. But what can I do? I can't just sit there and go, you're all talking shit. And all of the suffering in all your fucking lives is self-created, you fucking clowns. Look at all the bullshit you talk. Look how uncareful you are with your actions. No wonder you're fucking reaping bad karma, you fools. Oh, boo-hoo, look at me. Fucking grown <laughs> adults acting like children. Running around in a room blind, banging yourself into tables and then crying that you've hurt yourselves. Oh yeah, I feel tons of fucking sympathy for you. And what I do, Pierre, is I sit there and I go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh yeah. <laughs> and then when I want to say something, they interrupt me and cut me off. And then I'll try again. And then by the third time, I'm thinking, fuck you. I'm just not going to fucking speak. Fuck you. I'm just not going to fucking speak. You can't have inoffensive honesty. It's either truth or it isn't. There's no such thing as like, you be honest with me, but weigh up how honest you're gonna be with me so that you don't hurt my tender feelings. Fuck that. Tell me the truth and mm -hmm. I'll deal with my feelings. Fuck that. Tell me the truth.